have either of you noticed anything different or weird about yourselves lately? The reason I ask is because, well, I don't know how to put this, but our family is a bit different. Our family tree is a bit different. You see, there's a story that runs in our family, passed down from generation to generation, that says that your great, 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 great grandmother, Agnes, who lived in Salem, Massachusetts, met a handsome man by the name of William. The two fell in love at first sight. She had been intrigued by him and the feeling was mutual. It wasn't until the third born child that Agnes realized something was wrong. The baby was a beautiful baby girl named Agatha. But whenever Agatha would cry, strange things would happen. The door would fly open and close on its own. The wind would howl, lightning would strike. He told her that he had magic in his blood and that since he had fathered the three children, they had had magical blood too. In other words, ladies, William was a witch. I searched through my contacts searching for Cousin Victoria's number. What's up, Cuzzo? I have a huge secret to tell you. You'll die when you hear it. Okay, go on. Vic, we're witches. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Aunt Julie finally told you guys? Wait, you mean you knew? Of course I knew. We all knew. You guys were the only ones kept in the dark. The last way to tell if a new witch is developing her powers is by their hair. In a new witch's final stage of power development, their hair will naturally change its color and sometimes texture too. It's your body's way of finally accepting the power, therefore rebirthing the person. Mom, isn't there some sort of spell book that you're supposed to give me or something? You know, like a family heirloom that's been passed down from generation to generation? You've been watching too many movies. I'm afraid that that's not how the real world of magic works. However, there is something that you must have. What is it? It's a witch's talisman. Every witch has one. She's being a total bitch, and for no apparent reason. Maybe she just feels left out. That's bullshit, and you know it. Thanks for interrupting my beauty sleep, ass crack. This better be good. I just found out he's throwing a barbecue for the block today, and all of our old friends from high school will be there. Jared, this is one of our old friends, Tabitha. I'm Jared. I'm Tabitha, but you can call me Tab. Come on, you have to see the girls. Where are they? At Fallon's house, come on. Here she is, Fallon. Thanks, Tab. You've always been such a big help. Why don't you run along outside and fetch the other girls? I sent them looking for you. They're probably worried sick. Something wasn't right with Fallon. Her whole energy was different. She definitely wasn't the girl that I used to be friends with. Sure thing, Fallon. Oh, and Tab? Be sure to close the door on your way out. Leela and I have so much catching up to do. And this is? This is Jared. Leela, Jared, please, have a seat. No, that's okay. We'll stand. No, you must sit down. No, it's okay. Really it is. <sighs> Fine. Then I'll just have to come over to you. Wow. 
Why, Jared, how nice of you to join us. Yeah, we knew she was coming, but we weren't expecting you at all. I'm AJ. It's Leela, right? How did she know my name? I gave you a hug and introduced you when we first got here. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Leela, what are you talking about? This is my first time seeing you all day. No, it's not. You guys must be losing your minds. Tabitha's been with Vanessa and I all day. She hasn't left from our side once. I paused for a moment, thinking that I was losing my mind. If that wasn't Tabitha that hugged me earlier and told me that the girls were at Fallon's house, then who was it? Could that have been some kind of trap to lure me in? Honey, this is my newfound friend, AJ. AJ's gonna teach me how to use my magic. My mouth dropped open. What did she just say? Did you get him to cross over? I'm sorry, head mother, but he won't comply. I've tried everything. Well, you aren't trying hard enough. Time's running out. He'll be meeting the twins soon, and we have to have him on our side when he does. We have to be ready. What were they talking about? And what twins? Leah and I? Adrian, I don't care if AJ is your friend. I don't want her hanging around me. She's been teaching you magic for the last couple of weeks, and she's obviously had a bad influence on you. What would make you say something like that? Look at what you're wearing, Adrian. I look great. This is the best I've ever looked. And AJ's so much fun. You haven't even given her a fair chance. I invited her over today. In fact, here she comes now. Be nice. With just one handshake, I can see your every thought, your every move, your history, your future. <laughs> With just one handshake, I can see your everything. I saw it since day one. But now that I have what I want, I can tell you, or better yet, show you how I feel. I can't believe it. He's a witch. She's a witch. They're all witches. Just don't trust her. I took a deep breath as I opened my eyes. I had been sweating like crazy. More crazy dreams. Look at what mom gave me this morning before she left. She held on her left hand, revealing her witch's talisman. Now only if I knew how to work the damn thing. What do you mean? That's easy, you just put it on. Hmm. Maybe it's because you aren't developing your powers yet? It doesn't matter to me. I never wanted to be a witch anyway. I hope I never develop powers, so that I won't be a freak of nature like the one you're turning into. I dreamt of you recently, Leela, and I know you're a witch. Oh, but don't be alarmed. I'm a witch too. In fact, I'm only here to help you because, well, because my main power is to see the future in my dreams. And lately in my dreams, I've seen you die a slow, painful death. You're 
so feisty. I want to take you someplace. Make you an offer. What kind of offer? Well, to know that, you'll have to wait. Meet me on Wanamaker Street tonight at midnight, and we'll talk about it. Trust me, it's an offer you just can't resist. So now, what exactly do you need this stuff for? Sounds like a protection spell to me. Well, yeah, it's a protection spell, but I just want to practice my magic a little. Nothing serious. Leela, your hair, it's starting to look a little reddish, I know. No, it's not starting to look a little reddish, it's starting to look mostly reddish. I suppose I forgot to tell you that when a witch completes their first spell, their powers travel throughout their body and speeds up the change of hair color process, because the body accepts the power faster. Because I have a proposition for you. Leela, I see potential in you. We all do. Who is we? Adrian Fallon and I. So we want to make you an offer. One that you can't resist. And if I say no? You won't. Can I think about it and let you know? You have 24 hours to think about it. Meet me here tomorrow night at the same time. The more I walked, the more I thought to myself. And then it dawned on me. Suddenly I could hear Mrs. DeMille's low, husky, sluggish voice in my head as if she were right in front of me. Eventually, my dear, there will come a time where, like Eve, you will be forced to make a decision. Could this have been the decision that she was talking about? Bitch! Bitch! I'm the bitch? Yeah, that's what you've been acting like lately. I guess it's better than walking around with an overblown ego like you've been doing lately. Who's been walking around with an overblown ego? I certainly haven't. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? Little miss, I have powers now. Your ego has been so big that you've lost yourself in it. Walking around here with a switch in your walk and a pep in your step because you think you're better than the people around you. The people that don't have any powers like Sammy and I. The normal people. And don't even get me started on how you change around Jared. You act totally helpless and carefree. I didn't mean to do it. It was all a mistake. What, Dad? Tell me. What was a mistake? I never meant for it to go that far. It, it just happened. Dad, I need to know what you're talking about. I don't get what you mean. Mom, wait. I have something really weird that I want to talk to you about. Go ahead. Do you know anyone named... Brenda? Brenda Jacobs. You girls have a half-sister somewhere out there in Salem, Leela. So my half-sister's name is Allison Jacobs, huh? Yep. But she always hated her name. So when she turned 15, right before she ran away, she insisted we started calling her something else. <laughs> What's that? Okay, I found out something bizarre. I found out that I... We... Sammy Lee and I have a half-sister. Whoa, what? Shh. But that's not even the bad part. My half-sister is the wicked bitch of the East. She gave me 24 hours to think about it. In fact, I'm supposed to meet her tonight. Tonight at 12. If she makes the wrong move, it's going down. <laughs>